Hello everyone and welcome to another Your Key Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we have another unboxing and it's a mini drone. Yeah, it's a mini one. I haven't opened it yet as you can see, it's still wrapped. So I'm going to take out the bag right now because it's quite noisy and you don't really want to hear that. So let's get it out of the bag first then we can talk about it. That's out of the way. So I didn't actually buy this, my wife bought it. It cost just over £11 plus postage and packaging. And I bought it on Amazon. I'll stick a link in the description in case you decide you want to buy one. It says on the front DWI, and I think that says dwelling. So there's nothing to look at at all, really. It comes in a nice little bag. And the reason we bought this is because I have quite a few drones, and my grandson loves me playing about the drones. And I bought him a couple of little tiny drones, which he enjoys, and they're starting to age a bit now not work properly not do what they want to, i want them to do what anyone else wants to do with them so we decided to invest a new one my wife chose this one she bought it on amazon not me for once and uh yeah, it turned up a, a couple of weeks ago and i haven't had a chance to do it yet so we're doing a review on this so let's get it out so it's a 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, nothing amazing but that's about standard anyway so it's nicely packaged <laughs> as you can see I've, that looks really good so it's not very big so looking at it i wouldn't expect it to do anything really flashy it's not going to have um, a come home button or be very much doubted in fact that's not even been put on properly has it so it's got a tiny battery inside oh my god look at that <laughs> that is small a little tiny battery, so you've got a clue how long that's going to last for, and uh, that just sits in there like so. <laughs> Put it back in there, it wasn't even plugged in, so we probably have to charge it up anyway. So that's the first look around it. It's got an on off button on the side, which is at, turned off at the moment. So I'm going to put that back in there. Comes with a little controller, look at it, isn't it cute? So let's put that back on. So a little tiny controller. You've got your up and down, your left and your right. So that'd be your accelerator. Yeah. Uh, loads of buttons on there. They don't really show you what they do. You've got an on off switch. Oh, you've got some side buttons. And I'm assuming that might do tricks actually. And then you've got what on that side says one, two, and three. So that might be for different modes. Looking at it, uh, take, probably takes two uh, double A's. Oh, so I haven't read nothing. It's made in China, by the way. So it's got a little clip to undo it, but you also got a screw in. So we're going to sort that out a bit. Just thought we'd have a quick look. Uh, you've got your USB charger by the looks of it. Oh, that looks tiny screwdriver. So there's your USB charger. I think I've got a couple of them lying about. It comes with some uh, spare blades. Spare blades. Spare blades. Oh, don't drop it, Yorkie, don't drop it. So I've got some spare blades and did a little tiny screwdriver, which I did drop. Yes. So nothing special there. It's a little Phillips screwdriver or posi screwdriver, I think they call it. So in case you uh, lose a um, blade or you need to change it for whatever reason. And obviously your instructions. And it looks like it might be a multi-lingo one. We will see as soon as I get the thing out. Oh, maybe not. Might be nice and clear uh, instructions. So D1 drone instruction manual. There you go. So 360 degree stunt flips. That does do stunts. I didn't even know it done that. Because I haven't read nothing about it. So it tells you a little bit about it. It's in English. Uh, tells you about headless mode. Oh, it does headless mode. One key return. Oh, when the mo model takes off towards the north north side then whenever it is pressed one key return button it will fly towards the south side well <laughs> so if it goes north press the button it will go south interesting interesting so we're going to have to have a little read up on this flying environment tells you all about that about that we're going to try it out in here anyway uh fixed point landing uh, to master the drone, please try the following flying practices. Ah, very good. 
I'm quite impressed. So it goes up to seven pages and it tells you the specification on the last page and then it changes language. So yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge it up and we're going to have a little play about it, see how we get on with it. Right, it's all charged up. I've had a read of the instructions and hopefully <laughs> I know what I'm doing. So uh, we're going to give it a test. So uh, we're going to turn it on. So I'm going to turn on the remote first. I don't think it matters which way you do it. We will find out. Up, down. So you can do up and down, and now it's, it should be synced. So it's synced up, yeah. Now, tr the trimming, I quite like the idea of the trimming. What they've done, there's four little buttons in the middle. So if it's going forward, you just press that button now so to bring it back a bit. Or if it's going back, vice versa, you do that top one. Or left and right. So if it's going left, you do the right button. If it's going right, you do the left button. That's the way it works. And... Uh, yeah, it looks right, it's nice and light. I like the idea it's got a shield around it because, you know, it makes it safer for children to use. And this is the idea. The button on the left side of the controller is for adjusting your speed. So you can speed it up or slow it down, make it uh, more responsive. And then the button on the right is for your stunts. And these two buttons down here, one is headless mode, um, which means instead of having it forward and backwards it will just go doesn't matter which way it's facing if you want it to go forward it would just go that way it doesn't matter which way it is and the other one's a return button so if it's heading north you press that and it will come back south rather than you turn it around so anyway let's have a little play of it and we'll see how we get on with it shall we so red is going away from it so we've just got a normal mode for now let's see how easy it is to fly So that's a lot easier than my micro drone, I'll tell you that much. My micro drone is an absolute nightmare to fly and it does wander off. So it's coming towards me a little bit. So I've just moved it, I've just trimmed it slightly. That looks about right. It's a lot easier to fly this than it is my, my uh, micro drone. Right, let's see if we can do a stunt. That's good. Do a forward one. Yes. Battery's not going to last very long. Backward one. There you go. Yeah. Left. Do a left one. Yeah, that's very nice. Like I say, it's got a headless mode on it, which I thought was quite good. I'm not going to try it on headless mode in here. And uh, return to home, basically. Well, if it's going north, it, you press it, it will go south and vice versa. Look, battery's getting low. Uh, so I've only done a quick test. But yeah, I'm quite impressed. I'm impressed with the stability of it. Obviously, um, it hasn't got a um, satellite connection anywhere. But the fact is, it's pretty stable. And my battery's going. Because I have been playing about with it. It's just a toy. It's not to be taken too seriously. Uh, it's just for a bit of fun. It's perfect for kids to play about with. They're going to bash it about anyway. The fact it's got this little protection to uh, stop them hurting their fingers is, is a bonus. I don't think the blade would actually hurt you anyway. It might make the little... Uh, children jump and that or even you jump when it crashes the battery cover does pop out quite often which can be very annoying but for the price you pay for it and you, the fact that you can trim it really easily as well the price you pay for it I think it's well worth the money it, like I say it's just purely a toy don't take it too seriously is it worth the money Yes, I think it's worth the money. It gives my thumbs up. I'm going to have a, a bit more play about it as well and probably make um, another video to uh, add to this one, doing a bit more stunts, take it outside. It does say in the information, don't take it out when it's really windy because it can't handle a lot of wind. It's got to be a very gentle bit of wind, or you know, no wind at all, or ideally indoors. So with that, 
If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.